A successful club constitution. All successful clubs, organizations, and even teams begin with a well-constructed and well-written constitution. But what is a constitution and what should it include? How do I even get started? What is a constitution? A constitution at its core is a set of basic principles that an organization is formed by. These rules constitute exactly what an organization is. Organizations as large as countries and the UN have a constitution. States, teams, and corporations all have constitutions. A club should have a constitution too. Why is a constitution important? A constitution at its core is a set of laws. These laws keep the group organized and on track. They keep the group doing what it's supposed to do. The constitution also prevents the group from doing things it's not supposed to do. How is a constitution organized? All clubs have a purpose and need rules to guide their organization. This is what the club constitution is for. The constitution is broken down into main sections called articles of the organization. These major articles should be written clearly and concisely. If the constitution isn't clear, it'll make the club more difficult to run. It will make the organization even harder to run if there is a difficult decision to be made. These decisions often include elections of officers, disciplinary actions for members, how issues are voted on, what members are responsible for doing. Articles. What are they and how do they fit? Articles are the main headers for your constitution. They outline exactly what is in the constitution and how it will shape your organization. A basic constitution has a preamble plus eight different articles, but a constitution is a customized document. The final number of articles will be up to you. The following is a list of basic parts for a constitution. Preamble an introductory statement about your organization. Article 1, the name of the organization. Article 2, the purpose of the organization. Article 3, the membership of the organization. Article 4, the officers of the organization. Article 5, the committees of the organization. Optional. Article 6, the meetings of the organization. Article 7, the dues of the organization. Optional. Article 8, the amendments of the Constitution. The following will cover the specific parts of the Constitution, what they mean, and how you can write your own. Preamble. The preamble is an introductory statement that is no longer than two or three sentences. The preamble states what the organization is and what it stands for. Article 1. Name. This is where the official name of the organization is listed. It's usually a good bet to shorten the name of your club in the first article. This way, you don't need to keep writing a long name every time your club is mentioned everywhere else in the Constitution. Article 2. Purpose. This is where you outline the purpose of the organization and what it does. Here, you should write what it is meant to accomplish and what its main goals are. Article 3. Membership. This is where you outline who can be members of your organization and what is expected from members. This article is broken down into three sections. Section 1. Eligibility. Here, you'll list what the qualifications for membership are. Section 2. Active membership. Here, you'll list who can be active members. Your organization can be huge, but there will probably only be a small group that are truly active. You should list the difference between active and non-active members here. Section 3. Inactive membership. Here, you'll list what qualifies someone to be an inactive member. The best way to list this is to think about the opposite characteristic of what makes an active member. Article 4. Officers. Here, you'll describe what officers are part of your organization, what leadership responsibility they have, and how they are elected or appointed. Officers are leaders of your organization and are responsible for interpreting the Constitution, enforcing rules and responsibilities, and making sure that the organization meets its goals. This article is broken down into four sections. Section 1. Number and method of election. Here, you'll outline how many officers your organization has and how members become officers. Some organizations elect officers by voting them in. Some organizations appoint officers. In other words, the president appoints a vice president. The way you do this will be up to your organization. Section 2. Duties of officers. Here, you'll list all of the duties of the officers and what they are responsible for. Section 3. Terms of Officers. 
Here, you'll outline how long each officer should serve for and if they can be elected to the same office again. Section 4. Impeachment of Officers Here, you'll describe how officers can be impeached, removed from office, how they are removed, and what happens to them after they are removed. Article 5. Committees Optional This article is optional. It is supposed to outline and describe any committees that your organization has. These committees can be for things that the club does on a regular basis, like activities. These are called standing committees because they are always part of the organization. This article can be organized into three sections. Section 1. Standing Committees Here, you'll describe any standing committees that are a part of your organization at all times. These are committees that are always available and are an important part of what the club does. Section 2. Method of Appointment here, you'll describe how members of the committee are appointed to their roles. Section 3. Duties Here, you'll outline the duties of committees and what they will be responsible for accomplishing. Article 6. Meetings Here, you'll describe what kind of meetings you'll have, who can attend these meetings, and what is expected of meeting attendees. This article is organized into four sections. Section 1. Regular Meetings Here, you'll outline when regular meetings for your organization will occur. You don't have to include a specific time and place, just a general outline of when regular meetings will happen. In other words, once a week, once a month, etc. Section 2. Special Meeting Here, you'll describe when special meetings can occur. These special meetings can include just officers or just meetings for committees. This section will also outline who can call for these special meetings. Section 3. Quorum Here, you'll determine what makes a quorum for the meeting. A quorum is the minimum number of members necessary in order to vote on something or make a decision. Having a quorum ensures that a few members of your organization can't make decisions that affect everyone else without getting everyone's input. Section 4. Required Attendance Here, you'll outline who is required to attend meetings. Article 7. Dues Optional Here, you'll outline if your club requires any dues for membership. Dues are regular fees that are collected by the organization to be spent by the organization. Article 8. Amendments Here, you'll describe how the Constitution can be changed, how it can be changed, and what it takes to change it. These changes are called amendments. This article contains two sections. Section 1. Procedure for Amendments Here, you'll describe how amendments can be proposed, how they are discussed, and how they are voted on. Section 2. Ratification here, you'll describe how an amendment becomes part of the Constitution. This process is called ratification. Some general advice about writing a Constitution. You may wish to add articles, such as Executive Board, depending upon the nature of your organization. These additional articles should appear after the article dealing with dues and before the article dealing with amendments. In all cases, clear, simple, and precise English should be used. Work to avoid misspelling and grammatical errors. These make your constitution look sloppy, as well as making it harder to read and understand. Remember to make your constitution general. This means that you don't want to list specific, like, the President Jane Langley will have three bowling events this year. The constitution is not a document that is meant to be changed frequently. Text like this will put your constitution out of date really quickly. Instead, write something like, the President will be responsible for event planning. Conclusion a constitution is a core document that outlines an organization. A constitution is important because it describes to yourself and outsiders what your organization is and what it does. A constitution should be written clearly. A constitution is organized into articles and sections. Articles are the main headers for your constitution. Sections fall underneath articles. They break down articles into different parts. A basic constitution has a preamble plus eight different articles. A preamble is an introductory statement about your organization. Article 1 outlines the name of the organization. Article 2 outlines the purpose of the organization. Article 3 outlines the membership of the organization. Article 4 outlines the officers of the organization. Article 5 outlines the committees of the organization. Optional. Article 6 outlines meetings of the organization. Article 7 outlines any dues of the organization. Optional. Article 8 outlines how amendments are made.